Welcome back to the Yellow Jacket Sports Network. We're just talking with Maddie and Alexa, uh, two awesome all-star freshmen who are joining your team this year. And you are entering your second year as the head coach of the MSUB volleyball team. Uh, let's, let's talk first off about uh, what that means for you to be starting your second year as a Yellow Jacket. Yeah, it's super exciting. We've got a lot of our uh, new players on our team right now, and it's kind of nice to build a program with some new players, kind of get our systems implemented a little bit better. Uh, um, you know, they're working really hard right now. We're being really competitive in practice, which is something I haven't seen in a while, and I'm excited for the 2017 season. Awesome. Well, lots of great action uh, to come in the 2017 season. Let's talk a little bit about uh, kind of the overview of the diverse talent that you mm -hmm. have on your team this year. Yeah, so we're kind of all over the place right now. Like I said before, we have a lot of competition within our positions right now, which is exciting and something that MSUB Volleyball hasn't seen in a while. Um, with nine freshmen on a squad it's a little yeah. bit different and there's a lot to watch all the time um, you know but we're really excited about their potential right now obviously we need to get to know each other a little bit better on the court um, we're learning with some new setters and um, we're trying to run a little bit faster of an offense this year so we're kind of working with that and it's coming along you know entering week two with practices um, you know we've seen a big improvement from week one but um, we're definitely excited about where we're going and uh, I can't wait to get into some of our competition yeah now you talk about the nine freshmen who are on your team and last year in your first year as head coach um, you, you probably didn't have as much of an impact in the recruitment of those players this year it was all you your coaching staff and and really being able to be intentional about the recruitment of, of players for the squad talk a little bit about your recruiting style and, and what you're looking for when you're going out there to try to find future yellow jackets yeah well obviously we're looking for talent but it's more than that when we're looking for potential athletes it's attitude it's uh, um, you know, academics, there's so many things that we look at when we're looking at recruiting an athlete. Um, you know, with the nine that we brought in, they fit into what we were trying to do. They had the personalities that we were looking for. They had the talent that we thought would be competitive for our program. Um, you know, so it's a it's a big package, and it's more than just the talent part. It's the attitude. It's the mentality. It's the academics. Um, you know, in the nine players that we brought in, um, you know, plus the four, fr or four transfers, um, you know, they had that. And it's been working in practices and um you know, it's something that we'll continue to build upon for future years when we're looking at recruiting potential athletes. Awesome. Uh, now, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, teams will go and compete, uh, in, you know, one competition at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, you're starting the season off with two really exciting and competitive tournaments in early September. Talk a little bit about those tournaments and, and how does tournament play differ from the day-to-day -day competition for you? Yeah, I, I like the tournament play, especially early. I think that with such a young team we need as much competition as possible which is why we've added a couple scrimmage to our uh, schedule this year um, you know it's a different mentality going into a tournament play game than it is going into a conference game or just a regular game and I think that it's a little less pressure when you know that you have a couple games in a day um, you know, going into a GNAT conference match, all of our focus is on that one opponent. I think that with the tournaments, we can focus a little bit more on our team dynamic and um, what we can work on on our side of the net as opposed to um, some of our competition like we would in the GNAC. You bet. Now, um, when, when you're uh, talking about that competition, um, and just the season as a whole, what are what are some points of pride for you as a coach for your team early on in this season? You know, Madeline and uh, Alexa can attest to this, but we talk about energy all the time yeah. in the gym. Um, you know, we make sure that we are energetic at all times. If it's a warm up, if it's our dynamic, we're trying to be as energetic as possible. Um, you know, competitiveness is another thing. We want to compete day in and day out. Same thing, whether it's a warm up drill. Um, you know, I think that the girls have been really good with that thus far, and I think that they're um, getting on board. We've been really pushing our fitness, and we're trying to get in shape as fast as possible. Um, you know, I think that we're getting there. We still have a long way to go to get in shape and have everyone in shape to the level that we need to be at to compete in the GNAC, but um, they're taking it, and they're getting on board, and they're yeah. handling it with some grace. That's good, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you might have already answered this in, in this next question in, in that comment, but what are some things that, that you are identifying right now as a coach uh, for this team that are goals, things uh, uh, that are areas of improvement um, early on as the team develops? Um, just getting to know each other on the court a little bit better. Like I said, the girls get along really well off the court, but um, on the tor court we need a little bit more team chemistry and that's coming and that's going to come with practices and that's going to come with traveling and 
um, you know, the two-a-day stuff that we've been working on. I think that, um, you know, our competitiveness, it's great and it's a step up from where we were last year, but, um, you know, you always want to see compete uh, players continuing to compete for positions. Yeah. Um, last year with the numbers that we had, it just wasn't something that was super possible, but with a squad of 16 this year, it's something that we were really looking forward to with our recruiting class. Yeah. As you looked at the uh, schedule for uh, this season, um, is there a particular competition, a uh, particular team that you're thinking to yourself, <laughs> yeah, I want that revenge. I want that game back, and, and that sure. is what we're focusing on. You know, we went to five with Concordia uh, last year. Yeah at home and away. Um, they were really close games, and I think that's one that we can get this year. You just hate to lose in five set matches. Sure. And, um, you know, we've been really working on our fitness, like I said, so that we can finish some of those five set matches a little bit better. Really, anyone in the GNAC, we want to be more competitive than we were last year, and we want to knock off some teams that, um, you know, the rest of the conference wouldn't necessarily expect us to knock off. Um, you know, we were didn't get the preseason ratings that we wanted, but um, that's expected with basically bringing in a brand new team. So um, I think we'll go out and surprise some opponents in the GNAC this year. That's great. We're looking forward to seeing it. A week and a half into uh, practices, did, did you get a chance to have some fun this summer? <laughs> a little bit. A little we bit. were busy getting ready, obviously, yeah. you know, hounding everyone down for their paperwork right. and making sure that everyone had everything done was um, the big focus focus during the summer, but yeah. of course, we had a little bit of fun this summer. Good, good. absolutely. Uh, great to have you here. Casey Williams, head coach for MSUB Volleyball. Again, you can view the entire season schedule via msubsports.com as well as catch live home and away action or join us in Alterowitz Gymnasium.